Dragon was terrible. This is actually one of my favorite books. Dragon was terrible. Actually, dragons have a little bit of terrible in them. After all, it's because they're dragons. But this dragon, he was super terrible. Why? Well, because he stomped on flowers. He played tricks on the guards. And, oh, gross. He spit on cupcakes. Who does that? Dragons, that's who. How disturbing. That's not all. He even scribbled in books. And he threw sand. And, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. This is absolutely... Um, this is sad. He took candy from baby unicorns. Honestly. Now that is terrible. You can see how upset mom is about that, but poor little baby unicorn. Awful. Well, the king of the town said, you know what? I've had enough. Enough, he said. And he posted this sign up on the king castle. Brave knights, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift. Ye shall like it. His Royal Majesty, the King. Now the King looks a little upset. He's not too happy about this. And so he wrote the sign and put it up on the wall. But then if you'll notice, look what the dragon did. The dragon is pretty defiant. He decided to scribble on the wall. Said dragon was here. As if he's not concerned about the King being upset. So what happened? All the knights lined up to show off their dragon taming skills. And guess what? They all fill, they failed just miserably. And the dragon just grew more terrible. They were all trying to show or prove to the king that they could do this. Uh, and uh, it didn't go so well. The dragon took them all out. So he got more terrible. In fact, he started chasing fuzzy yellow ducklings around the moat. And he even toilet papered the castle. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, but I love marshmallows. Except I don't like them, what he did to them. He burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. Look at that, chasing those poor little ducklings around with a garden hose. And look at all that toilet paper all over the castle. And uh, as I said, I like toasted marshmallows, but not burnt to a blackened crisp. Well, the villagers got upset, and they had had enough. So enough, they said. Well, they posted a sign. Well, really what they did is they kind of rewrote the king sign. And it said, brave people, whoever shall tame the dragon shall be rewarded with a gift uh, from the king. It shall be a nice gift. We hope ye shall like it, perhaps. His Royal Majesty, the king. Well, <laughs> what did the dragon do again? He kind of scoffed at it. He didn't care about the sign and he wasn't worried about the village people either. So he wrote on there again, says dragon was here again. He is a pretty defiant dragon, and he's not worried about anybody taming him. Ordinary blokes and lassies, boys and girls, lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon. And guess what? They too all failed, embarrassingly so. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, the dragon grew even more terrible. He was not afraid of these people, he wasn't worried. So what did he decide to do now? He popped birthday balloons at parties. He drew funny faces on the drawbridge, and, oh, how disturbing. He burped out loud in front of people in public. Now that's terrible. Didn't even cover his mouth. This, this guy is pretty disturbing. He is a terrible dragon. Well, guess what? A boy in the town wearing a feather cap had a look of determination on his face, and uh, he too had had enough. Only he didn't say enough like you thought he would. Instead, he decided to sketch a story. He's going to go about it a different way. So the next day, the dragon followed this trail of marshmallows to a shady tree where the boy was reading. Because we know the dragon likes marshmallows. He knew that. So what he did is he plopped them down all the way to the tree where he's reading a book. The dragon is picking them all up, and then all of a sudden, he comes across the boy under the tree. Hmm. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye and began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then the brave dragon swooped in to save the princess, he said. The dragon stopped in his tracks. As he's stuffing his face full of marshmallows, he started hearing the story about a brave dragon. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. The dragon pretended not to listen, but he is interested in the story. The dragon 
roared, and the frady cat knight trembled in his boots. The dragon pretended to walk away, but he's starting to like this story. A crowd began to gather, and the dragon decided to take cover in a tree. These other kids in the village decided they wanted to hear the story too. The boy continued reading page after page after page until, well, I don't think it's a very good hiding place for a big old dragon, do you? Well, I guess it wasn't. Snap, crash, the dragon landed on the ground with a terrible thud. The crowd gasped. <gasps> the dragon roared, roar. And the clever boy didn't flinch. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, would you like to hear how the story ends? And just when you thought it wasn't possible, the dragon smiled and he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly now, that is adorable. I think the dragon wants to hear the rest of the story. The king cheered, the villagers cheered, the baby unicorn and the fuzzy ducklings, they cheered all the loudest. At long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. Oh, hey, wait. Wait a minute. What about uh, that reward? Oh, yes. The gift. Well, the gift was a new friend. A nice dragon, of course. The boy tamed the dragon, and that was the gift that the king had given him. He now has a pet dragon. Wouldn't you like a pet dragon? The real end.